Welcome to NETV Paper Reviews. Today's review is a mod that apparently it is the lightest dual 21700 mod available. And I received this from Sourcemo to review. Sourcemo.com, a known Chinese vaping vendor that you could find anything you want from their website and they're very competitive in price as well and quite very fast shipment to EU and UK and all over the world. I'm speaking as, as UK. And here it is, um, the Vendi, from Vendivape and Matt from Sock My Mod. Yep. Now, before we go into it, it's quite advanced, I must say. Um, very nice screen, very nice and bright. But it's so much setting in here. Um, it can house a 21700 dual, and it's a C frame type of mod. And you can put in here as well 18650 that comes with adapters. No rattling at all, even with the 18650. And as you can see, you'll see it in a minute in the close up. And it can house up to a 28 millimeter um, tank. I've got on here the Kelpie, 25 millimeter, and there's plenty more room to go. So before we talk about a bit more, let's go down to the close-up uh, I recorded, and we'll go through various settings, then we'll come back on top, and we'll talk about a bit more. Right, so let's have a look at uh, Gawa 21 from Vandy Vape, and Matt from... SMM, suck my mother. There you go, authenticity and scan and f follow. <coughs> what you get in the box and main features. The lightest dual 21700 box mod ever. That's a very bold statement. Um, yeah. Waterproof PCBA, fiberglass reinforced pc enhances durability and the toughness of the mod dual 21700 battery contributes longer battery life to be honest this is my only my first dual 21700 mod so i'm quite eager to have a look to see what it's like and um, apparently it's quite advanced chip so quite a lot of settings here We'll try and go through the basics and this is the mod nice you get them in various colors various combinations very nice okay we'll have a look down in a minute this is most probably the USB-C and again a very short cable that I don't understand the reasoning behind it if I want to plug this into a wall it'll just dangle and it's quite big mod will just take it up you know separate it from the plug um, they ought to make longer cables that the mod could rest while it's recharging okay that's side issue and here's the manual now in the manual you've got quite a lot of settings I mean it's a lot to learn and those who like um to play with the mods you, this one will give you a quite a lot of entertain entertainment yep i mean just you got a quite a lot of settings i'll keep this here for if i need some assistance when we're going to go through the settings uh, warranty card proper use guide battery safety I suppose and this is for to pair it with a mobile phone um, yeah to pair it with a mobile phone and anti-lost retrieval you can find your mod if you lose it my device you see you can see it on your phone yeah very interesting 
<coughs> yeah. Okay. So let's have a look at the mod. Put this aside. It looks a very solid, robust. Um, this is obviously this is a C frame type of mod, so you don't open it from here as you normally do. Um, Sock my mod, manufactured by Vandy Vape. So this is sealed off and here's your top and this could house up to 28 millimeter tank on it yeah it's quite it's quite a uh, you can put in quite a big tank on this fire button plus minus and USB C charge port now if you can hear the rattling that is because you've gone there the 18650 adapters so we'll put that aside and we'll have a look we'll put in two 21 700s so to change your battery is very easy indeed you just pull it apart and it just slides back in and you can see the cutout here very easy to do everything here is well made I mean it's solid this will last for years and years um, the only thing you might have to change is batteries so we'll put in here one battery everything is clearly marked and these are spring loaded to avoid damage to your battery and here's your screen so as you can see it's quite um, self-explanatory your battery power level wattage and here you've got your ohms with no tank on it at the moment um, voltage puff counter and time of inhale i wonder if anyone ever checks this out who wants to know how long have they inhaled for don't know that's one of the settings Okay, to switch it on and off is five times. And five times on. Now, to there is an interesting setting here. If I hold the fire and minus, I flip the screen. Now, why would someone want to look at their mod upside down? This I haven't figured out. I mean, I, I'm flipping screen sideways, if you're left or right, I understand, but upside down, I don't understand that. Um, wattage goes up to 200 watts, very fast indeed. But it doesn't round robin, so, but it goes very fast. Yeah, um, now if I press the plus and fire you lock the device now if I lock this device it would not change the wattage but I can still fire you can change that setting within that if you lock the device it will lock everything so we'll check this out later let's unlock this now if I press three times you can see the wattage starts you see these arrows so I can go through to a bypass um, and with within the bypass if I press the fire it would you can configure exactly what you like oh sorry one two three voltage TC stainless steel TC nickel TC titanium and back to wattage and press fire to choose what you want now if I if I press four times, I press two, one, two, three, four. Now here you get into um, how you would like your vaping. Normal, you got soft, hard. Now direct to long, mouse to long. I think it's something to do with the curving. Um, 
because I've seen here on the in the booklet in the manual um, it says in power mode press the fire button four times continuously to enter the pile customization press the plus or minus button to select uh, soft uh, sh dl mtl, M mtl app press and hold the fire button to enter the curve then use plus or minus button to adjust manually so i i didn't go into that settings um let's do this again um and over here you got the app and that is also to do with um what does it say with the app um yeah also to something to do with the app that you could link it into your phone so i'm not going to go into that i'm sure those guys who like all this type of gadgetry would love this yes escape now if i hold the fire button minus and plus sorry not the fire button the minus and plus you get into the settings now if i press the settings now here you see the tc is enabled it's green if i want to disable it i disable it here so when i go in back into the settings it won't give me that option and i can go down voltage disable bp uh, uh, bypass disable now fire this is um as i said when you lock the device if you uh, disable this it would disable everything that means even the fire button would not work now so let's let's uh, i'll show you now what it means that we disabled it so let's choose this and go back to the screen now if i press this three times no, sorry always when you press the fire button ah, you see that that is the curve okay so we don't want that do we so let's go back so um one two three now you see if i select nothing happens because i disabled them <coughs> in the settings so if i go back to the settings one two three no, I have to go one, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Sorry again. Takes time to learn these things. I have to go into here. Um, and then I ena <coughs> enable it again. So. So then we'll be able to um we'll select them again in the settings now what is all this means the fire uh, we know about um a was i can't even read a r r stands for let's have a look a r r view the q r code for downloading app um so that's what it means then you go to the app itself uh, what does that mean? Let's have a look. Um, I don't know. The app is something to do with the app, but it's disabled at the moment. Okay, um, so we'll go back, escape, and now we'll go down to the rest of the settings. This is the um, sleep time. This is the screen brightness this is the zero vaping not sure what that means this means switch ui interface this means view software version and motherboard number okay if you want to check that out there you go um and next one down is um view view the qr code for downloading the app and this we don't want to touch that's reset the original factory setting and return to interface so let's go back to the um and we'll choose wattage yeah um now let me go back to over here and all okay let's go back 
Yeah, what is this though over here? Why is this still here? Um, not sure. Oh, I know why. So let's let's uh, one, two, three, four, five. No, oops, sorry, I switched it off. One, two, three, four, five. We're exploring this together. One, two, three, four. Doesn't have the sensitive. One, two, three, four. So let's choose normal. That's it. So now we're back to normal. Yes, quite advanced. Um, I mean, you can see on the booklet, I mean, you still got oh, quite a lot of. I never went into all this curving, and I'm a straight wattage vapor, but you got quite a lot of options here. Okay, uh, let's see how much this weighs because um, this is supposed to be the lightest mod um, around. So let's switch this on and we'll put this on grams. Then this is with the 21700 and you can see it's 270 grams. Okay, so we'll put in now the 18650 configuration now there's no ribbon to pull out your batteries um like you normally see in dual battery mods but this is fairly easy they just roll out very nice and easy let's put in now 18650 um Golisi batteries very good batteries Put in the other one in plus always lean the one on the minus and press in so you get this spring loaded action and here you go 18650 no rattle at all um, and let's put it now to weigh it two four five yeah not much difference but it's very light indeed for dual um 18 for dual 21700 that is quite light let's put back the 21700 um and then we'll weigh something else in here so like this we can see um one minute plus and Um, plus, yeah. Now, so 270. Let me put my um, Ultrona, we'll take off the tank. And the Ultrona has got 18650, and this is sta sta uh, stabilized wood 209. But this is, don't forget, this is stabilized wood that is very, very light. Um, let's put the gen with the 18650s. Uh, where's the panel? Here we go. Um, I'm not going to even bother switching it on just for the weight. So 206 with the 18650s and this is with the 21700s 206 versus 270 but don't forget this is 21700 and this is a lot bigger so it is very light i mean you can see you can see it's a lot thicker and it's uh, well it's not actually so much bigger is it? Let's have a look at the Ultrona next to it. Yeah, so there you go, sizes. It's not a massive mod. No, I mean, you can see it is a bit thicker than the Gen. Um, the Gen feels very comfortable in the hand, as you know, but this also feels comfortable. This feel, feels a uh, workhorse, shall I say, a powerhouse, but not 
as heavy as you would have thought to do with the fiberglass. I mean, you, we have seen it on the back of this, um, where is it? Um, on the back of this box, it does say the lightest dual 21700 box mod ever. Yeah. So, okay, um, I'm going to use this now for a bit and then we'll talk about it on top and tell you what I think. But I think so far this is a very sturdy, solid, comfortable in your hand. It feels substantial, but it's not as heavy as it looks. It's much lighter than what it looks. So it might be that uh, what they're saying is the lightest mod. I can't compare it to other 21700 uh, dual batteries. All what I just now weighed against it is 18650s. So I can't really test it, but um, it does feel fairly light. Okay. Um, We'll talk about it more on top in just one second. So you've seen the settings, you've seen how advanced, it's quite advanced chip. You've got quite a few options in this device. What do I think of it? I've been using this for a few days with my, at the moment I've got now the mongrel with the metal cap. And this is a 25 um a 25 millimeter yeah look how much still room there is um yeah so you can house a big tank on it it feels great in your hand it just feels so sturdy um it's a substantial mod you feel you're holding a solid mod this is perfect for taking out and about you know it, nothing will happen to it even if it fell it's mainly for bigger tanks. Um, dual 21700 will last you quite a while. Um, I could even put in my mouse to long tanks on it uh, if I go out for a long journey. Yeah, this will last me for two days on a mouse to long. Um, I'll put below the whole, the, all the specs. Um, it's 96.5 millimeter by 58.8 millimeter by 30 millimeter. So it's quite big. Now it says over here, dual high amp 2700 or 21700 or 18650. So you can use all three types of batteries. The 18650 obviously got the adapters inside. Um, well, I'll put through everything down below. You've seen most of the settings, the temperature control, you've got it in um, stainless steel and uh, nickel titanium now the fiberglass chassis the fiberglass it says over here in zinc alloy chassis constructions construction uh, that uh, most probably adds to the to the weight and the fiberglass adds to the light weight and it weighs 270 gram with the 21700 inside so it's quite light indeed um, yeah so you got all the protection, the anti-loss and find my device. The app has to go into, you have to um, pair this to a phone. All in all, it's a top mod. Um, yeah, when Sourcemo offered me uh, something to review, I one of, these, one of the things that I chose to review, it's not they're sending me something they want, it's I chose and I chose, one of the things I chose is this mod uh, because I heard so much about it. Uh, it's the lightest 21700 and it does feel very light in the hand. Van de Vape, you know, I love this Squonk mod. Um, they've got very good chips, very reliable chips, the Van de Vape. It's a very nice mod indeed. Yeah. Um, now, so to sum this up, this is a solid, uh, well, well constructed mod very advanced chip uh, very uh, lightweight for its size and and um, 21700 the fact that it's got two 21700s um, this mod will last you very long time indeed highly recommended if you looking for a high powered highly advanced chip looks good feels good now you've got many different colors 
feels good in your hand. Top mod to have if you got bigger tanks. I assume you can put it on any tank, mouse to long as well, 22, 23. It will look a bit small on it, but you will have the power to carry you through at least two days on a mouse to long tank. Um, they will, uh, 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 there is a coupon code that will appear in the screen as well, GA21, and that will take you to the SourceMore website. Uh, on the SourceMore website, it will take you to the Vandivape Go 21 mod, box mod, if you're interested to buy this. Okay. Very nice mod indeed. I think I've um, given over as much information as I can uh, to if you're interested to buy this mod. Um, yeah, I like it very much. It's my only dual 21700 mod. Yeah, I'm top. I'm very pleased. Thank you for Source More for sending it to me. Uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Until the next review, take care. Enjoy your vape. Bye bye for now.